perhaps more relevant to our culture is syncopation and irregular subdivision of the beat, occurring when a note is played just ahead of or delayed beyond the listener's expectation. It is most often experienced as physically stimulating and exciting. Our physical responses are even more complex when one considers the layers of rhythm that are played in combination in music for dance. To our ancestors, the music of this earthly plane of existence was part of a sacred pattern and moved in a parallel fashion or in counterpoint with the music of the spheres, cosmic music, and obeyed divine laws. Since music, it is said, can bypass the logical and analytical filters of the mind, it can then make direct contact with the emotions, profound feelings, passions which lie deep in the memory and the imagination. Naturally, physical reactions follow, and these effects are resonant on both the individual and the culture-specific levels. Yet we must be aware that, contrary to the thinking of many persons on one side of the often heated debate on the value of Jamaican music, music itself is morally neutral. In other words, this potent force can be used to good effect or as a negative power, producing disorientation and irritation. Science is catching up with traditional wisdom and there is now a body of knowledge supported by experiment, analysis, and thesis on the effective power of music on the body and the mind. In the 1990s at the universities of Münster and Dortmund in Germany, Doppler sonography brain scans found that when subjects listened to music, the blood flow to the right hemisphere of the brain increased. Music with very strong rhythms, however, increase the blood flow in both hemispheres, pitch and rhythm being processed in different parts of the brain. This is significant for understanding how a good number of Jamaicans respond to music. To sit still while listening to music is well nigh impossible for the average Jamaican. And that my audience sat still just now shows that you certainly are not average. I should like to suggest that such behavior is learned, so you're also educated. The rhythm, that is the beat, is of primary importance in our musical landscape. A natural response to rhythm is movement, be it snapping of the fingers, reinforcement of the pulse by tapping of the feet, or movement of the head and shoulders. And now we listen to a piece by Liszt, just a little bit of La Campanella. German investigators mentioned before observed that melody appears to act on the limbic system, that is, the emotional core which moves one to feelings of discomfort and despair, uh, fear, joy, sadness, excitement, or peace. 
physiological changes as volunteers listen to music confirmed beliefs that had been held for centuries that music in major keys with fairly fast tempos correlated with a lightness, a sense of joy and happiness, while slow tempos and music with minor key tonality reflected a kind of sadness. And I saw just now heads moving along with the list piece. It seems that the whole human family needs music. Jill Nymark, in an article titled Sound Healing, in an edition of Natural Health, cites research done by the Rochester School of Medicine showing that the deaf are able to sense vibration in the part of the brain usually used for hearing. I should like to reiterate the fact that it is not only the organs of hearing that are responsive to sound. The cells of the body are also sound receptors. I can attest to the physical response to drumming and an ability to reproduce drum patterns by feeling the vibrations in the body of students at the Listermere Gilby School for the Deaf in the Hope area of Kingston. The young hearing impaired drummers then provided accompaniment for dance, or perhaps more accurately, initiated and supported dance sequences. There is also no doubt that rhythmic music with a strong pulse has proven powerful in treating people with neurological disorders, as I also found in the 1970s in using the drum with a young child living with cerebral palsy. Not only did the vibrations of the head of the drum provide pleasurable response from the child, but the playing method requiring alternating hands and shifts across the pitch areas of the instrument encouraged improvement in muscle tone, strengthening, and developing coordination. Now we move to rhythm in Jamaica. Having set the stage, with an understanding of sound and its effects. Jamaican music from the traditional offerings of the plantation period to the popular creations of the present day, through the creative output that accompanies and energizes the marking of milestones on the journey of life from the womb to the tomb, has shown an unmistakably effective power. It is a force that inspires, initiates, and supports movement on the physical, emotional, and psychical planes of existence. From the earliest days of our heritage, the pre-Columbian period of the Tainos, which in my day we knew as Arawaks, music played a functional role in the celebration of the stages of life, birth, marriage, death, and in the recreational ball games called arietos. Taino music used bone and reed flutes, large drums with manatee skin heads, and rattles worn on wrists and ankles. Within the mice of this indigenous group, musical expression developed through the collision of British and African cultural norms primarily, with the insertion of Oriental and Middle Eastern observations. European musical inputs include our scale patterns and the triadic harmonies of hymnody, folk material in the songs and dances of artisans, tradesmen, and sailors, military and ceremonial music, and the instrumental resources of the table, stringed, and wind instruments. The power of the beat has been critical to the reception and appreciation of music in the island. There is very strong evidence of the survival of African features. Most importantly, the emphasis on rhythm and the preponderance of drums and other percussion instruments in our music. These survivals are strongest where there is an overall supporting African tradition. Playing the most important role in keeping these musical elements alive is religious ritual of which rhythm, the beat, is an integral part. We'll now hear Rhythm of Africa, particularly from Ghana, with a short excerpt of an incantation, a chant, and a dono, a talking drum. <laughs> 